Hello, beautiful people! Two mornings ago, some un unusual things happened. I ran the Canal Corridor 100 mile endurance run for the third time. It was the fourth running of that race. And, of course, this year we got face masks in our race packet. This is sort of a sign of the times in running. Uh, of course, most races have been canceled, but the Canal Corridor 100 in Akron, Ohio went on due to the persistence and expertise of the race directors. Uh, they would not take no for an answer. They came up with a race plan that looked like a team of medical doctors put it together. So I personally felt like running the race was no more risky than going grocery shopping. So July 11th and 12th, Akron, Ohio sort of became the epicenter of ultra running worldwide uh, since virtually everything else in the, in the 100 mile distance has been canceled since uh, early March. Um, this was what was happening and some elite runners came, set records. As usual, my view was mostly from the back of the pack. I was there to get my third Ohio 100 mile buckle, um, all from the Canal Corridor 100. This year would be my first time ever running a 100 mile official race all the way in a pair of zero shoes. So I chose to go with the zero Z Trail um, with no toe post. It's more of a sports sandal. Super, super lightweight, super thin outsole, but with a little bit of cushion. Uh, the cushion tends to compress down at the contact point. So while it may look like, I don't know, nine millimeters or so thick, at the contact points, it's really probably more like five and a half millimeters. So Ohio in mid-July, it's pretty much guaranteed to be hot and humid. We had uh, quite a few, a few hours of rain to start out on Saturday morning, July 11th. Um, I was the only runner, which is typical, uh, going 100 miles in sandals, so I was not the least bit worried about puddles or rain or wet socks. Um, ended up running the entire 100 miles with no, no need for socks, uh, no abrasions, no blisters with the Zero Z Trails. One thing that I would advise for really anybody running uh, any extended dis distance to them in this type of a sandal is to apply generously uh, some sort of body glide type product, a skin lubricant protectant, um, all over the feet, top and bottom of course. And with these sandals, I took a uh, body glide brand um, and rub that generously onto the insides of the laces all the way around the sandals. The only other slight modification that I did with the Zero Z Trail was I took a Dremel and I buzzed down just a little bit of that post on the outside where the small toes are. Um, Occasionally, I would have a, a little bit of my small toe rubbing up against that. So, uh, just to redu reduce the risk of any abrasions on that small toe, um, I smoothed that out a little bit, trimmed it off slightly. This year's 2020 Canal Corridor 100 uh, was a very special race for many reasons, um, not the least of which would be all of the adjustments in rules and procedures that had to be made in light of the pandemic. Um, there were 153 people registered. Um, I think 146 of us started, 98 finished. Um, we started in groups of three runners per minute going out. Um, this was my 20th start at the 100 mile distance uh, uh, official races and my 16th finish um, and there were recently this year two unofficial 100 mile races or training runs that I did so um, anyways a lot of running and injury free 
um, for all of those runs. Long before I ever attempted that first 100 mile race, I found a little company out in Colorado called Invisible Shoes, and this was the first, <coughs> excuse me, first pair of roughly $20 kit sandals that I purchased from them. And they were absolute game changers. I uh, came up with my own custom method of, of lacing them. I, uh, within a few months, I ran a marathon in them flawlessly, hands-free, uh, no adjustments needed. Um, the company's come a long way. There's no longer a knot underneath the rubber outsole. While I can certainly now appreciate how much I learned from the $20 kit sandals and the custom lacing, um, that also helps me appreciate the refined improvements built into the Zero Z trails. Super adjustable, super comfortable, super easy to adapt to, uh, priced right, built to last, 5,000 mile outsole warranty. Um, there's a lot to like here. Each year, the Canal Corridor 100, uh, at least for the three or four times I've run it, uh, were significantly modified courses. Um, but each time, the trails have been primarily, um, or, uh, well, primarily paved bike trail and packed gravel. Ohio in July, of course, is pretty much guaranteed to be hot, humid, good chance of rain, and we had all that. It was not too extreme temperature-wise, uh, but it got hot. One of the beautiful things about running 100 miles in Waraches with no socks needed is that when it rains, no problem. The feet just, just dry right off, and we lose up to 25% or more of our excess body heat through our feet. So think about that. If it's uh, you know upper 80s, 90s, or hotter, you're going to be hot running, developing a lot of body heat. And if your feet are not covered with shoes and socks, uh, um, I believe we can be quite a bit more efficient out there. And it definitely feels fantastic having the sun and breeze on the skin of the sensitive feet, uh, much like the difference between um, you know driving a four-door sedan versus a two-door with the top down. We ran past lots of beautiful forests, uh, streams, rivers, small lakes, farms, open views. It was a gorgeous Ohio course, and we got to run through some small towns, villages, and of course, through downtown Akron. And uh, the start finish and 70 mile aid stations were all at the Missing Falls Brewery. And it was all, all just a very enjoyable course. Uh, lots of super friendly volunteers, runners, crew people. One of our daughters crewed for me and my wife crewed and paced. Um, they went to get some sleep at about 65 miles into my run and I picked them back up at about 90 miles. Uh, really struggled through the night uh, in terms of just being slow and tired. Uh, um, fortunately, I came back to life right, you know, a mile or two before coming into that 90 mile aid station. And uh, I had to smile because my wife was wearing a hoodie. Pretty sure she assumed we'd be running really slow. It was a little cool in the morning. Uh, first thing I said was, take that crap off, we're running back to the brewery. One of the great feelings in life is to be feeling really strong and running smooth and fast, good posture, smiling, at over 90 miles into a race. Um, and I have to give some credit to Zero Shoes for producing affordable, long-lasting products that help me get to that level of fitness. Just a few more words about the Canal Corridor 100 here in Ohio. Um, their race slogan is running forward, giving back. Um, the entire organization uh, it is built on volunteerism, 
proceeds go to trail improvements and charities uh, in the Akron area. The field of runners was very diverse. There was a fantastic atmosphere, really enjoyed the race, and of course hope to make it back uh, for a fourth attempt. One of the fun moments at the race was about half mile from the finish, out on the towpath, uh, there was an older lean gentleman on the side of the trail, I think he was a bike rider, I'm not sure if he knew what we were even up to, but uh, he asked me how I was doing. I said, rapidly approaching perfection and got a big smile from him. So of course that made me feel uh, even better. Uh, but it was a perfect weekend, perfect race, had a great time. Um, I hope you can experience similar events and create those great memories.